As diecast collectors, there comes a time in our life where we just have too much cars in our collection. If you're just like me, I have lots of cars in my room and if you take a look right here, every nook and cranny of my room is filled with a Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Tomica, Majorette, you name it. But thankfully, these past few years, I have sort of devised my own ways of displaying and storing my cars. And that's what today's video is gonna be about. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys ways I store and display my cars. So first, right up, is to display your cars on the wall. So I'm actually like the first person to ever do this. I know some people have pointed out like, no, you're not. I've seen Hot Wheels actually like make their own Hot Wheels sign with Hot Wheels cars on the wall. But the thing is, I'm the first person to be able to display it on the wall and remove the cars at my own wheel. Check that out. I want to play with the car, you know, roll it around. And when I'm done, no problem. All you have to do is just put the car back where you get it and voila magic and that's how you do it so how what is this magical substance that keeps the car on the wall well it's actually blue tag so for those living in singapore or in maybe malaysia i think you guys know what blue tag is right i'm not sure what it's called in other countries but it's basically like this sticky clay i know that phil also had a uh, something like this it's called the command tag or something i can't remember what it is but be sure to swing by his video he actually explained it but for me i use blue tag and for that i can stick my cars on the wall now some of you might be thinking wait drifter don't the cars fall off the wall i'm not gonna lie guys if you don't do it properly you might end up having a car or two fall off the wall but if you do it properly like i did right here you can end up with a wall full of cars now why the hell would you do this well guys it it in estimate it only cost me like 20 dollars worth of blue tag to be able to put all of these cars now imagine how much it'll cost there's actually like 450 ish cars right here to build a shelf i've i've asked a contractor before and they gave me a price of like five six hundred dollars no way i'm broke for that no 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 so i don't know just one day i decided to stick the cars in the wall try it out and the next thing you know i have a cars i have a car car wall thingy right here yep it's insane so it's up to you you know if you want to stick your if you're if you're broke you're on a budget you want to display your car in a unique way then sticking your cars on the wall is the way to go now on the second way to display your cars is to display them carded but same thing by using blue tech so these cars right here are actually uh, blue tech to the wall behind the cards right there i can't really open it right now but yes these are all blue tech to the wall and it's a bonus point for those who don't know i'm planning to make another video on this what i do for my carded cars is actually use a knife and open up all my cards so that i can look at that i want to play the car once again just like just now for the tesla roadster i'm done playing bam put it back like magic however do note that when you use blue tech for this car they might stain the back of the card so i can't really open it right here but they might leave a stain uh, behind the card over the years so if you're wary about what the card condition might look like behind the card then this is not the way to go because sometimes the blue tech does kind of like stain the the card behind a little bit if you're on a budget and you don't want to stick your cars on the wall because they might fall or you don't want to keep your cars carded then how about you keep them loose and keep them in these trusty neat plastic boxes right here so check this out these little plastic boxes like x like shelf you can actually store the cars inside right here and it's a bonus if you collect tomicas you can actually use them to store your tomica boxes but i don't know i just decided that i bought a lot of these boxes right here and store my store my store my cars inside like this to make us to, to act as like a makeshift shell so it is pretty cool and if you guys are interested in buying some uh, plastic boxes i will provide a link below it is an affiliate link so if you click below and decide to buy yourself some uh, of these plastic boxes it will give me some commission cha-ching for drifter hey hey all right so you're broke you don't you can't really afford uh, buying hundreds of plastic boxes and whatnot well let me give you an alternative plastic ziplock bag so what these are right here are like plastic ziplock baggies for you to store your cars now the thing is for me i'm actually planning to display these cars in the future if you're gonna collect hot wheels car call open them up and then just open it up and then put it in the ziplock bag and then start in the teogo box i find that 
kind of pointless you know the point of collecting is to be able to admire the car so if you need like a temper temporary solution to like store your cars first and keep it safe and then next time maybe take it out and display it this is the way to go look at this i have a roughly 400 uh, cars right here in this toyogo box and this is what they're called uh in here in singapore at least these like plastic container boxes and yeah you can just throw the cars in so for these ziploc bags i'm not sure where you can actually buy them for those living in singapore you can search up the shop name it's called skp yeah, it's three f three alphabets skp and they actually sell these ziploc bags and they're quite cheap i think for like 100 pieces they're only like three dollars so yep if you really really are on a tight budget then this is a way to go to store your cars so there you have it those were some ways you can display and store your car so how about you guys what are some ways you guys display i'm sure some of you maybe use jammers or you all have your custom shelves tell me in the comments below i read and heart as much comments as possible so once again i hope this video helps you out guys and once again the link for these boxes will be in the description below like your if you ask me i think out of all of them this is the best way to display your cars i'm not i'm not saying that just because it is an affiliate link to purchase these boxes but really just bruh check that out doesn't that look gorgeous yeah, that's why. So anyways, uh, that's it guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys missed out my previous video, click on the top right or click on the bottom right and check out my whole collection video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.